Good evening friends and welcome back here to another prepared 3D video. Quick video for us this evening, uh, just capturing the arrival approach and landing into New York's LaGuardia Airport uh, this evening. Currently in the FS Labs Airbus A321, descending via the uh, Cori 4 arrival now into LaGuardia. LaGuardia is currently landing um, runway 31, so we're going to uh, shoot the uh, expressway visual runway 31 approach. Uh, it's an approach that we don't get to practice too often, uh, so I decided to uh, give it a shot this evening. Uh, since LaGuardia is utilizing that runway for arrival. Uh, we're in the FS Labs A321. Uh, currently no hot fix yet for the uh, ATSU loading and boarding, but there is a workaround currently that uh, we were able to utilize for this evening's flights, and it uh, worked quite well. Other than that, no issues with the aircraft. Uh, still flies phenomenally well. Um, and it's uh, still a fantastic aircraft to own. That Hoffix should be out uh, momentarily anyway. Uh, let's take a look at our approach and landing into LaGuardia this evening. So as I mentioned, we are on the Cori 4 arrival, currently uh, just northeast of Ridgey, coming up on uh, Echo November Oscar VOR. We'll cross Skippy above 19, Bessie at above 17, uh, Davies above 13, Brand above 11, and uh, obviously Corey at 10. Uh, from there on out, we've got the uh, altitude and speeds programmed into the MCDU. Uh, and after Proud, uh, radar vectors ourselves. So we are offline at the moment. I was having uh, an issue with uh, V Pilot today, so uh, we are flying this flight offline. After Proud, uh, it'll be radar vectors self-radar vectors, that is, uh, into runway 31, utilizing the expressway visual. Let's just see if we can uh, visualize that. Expressway visual chart. Uh, so after Proud, uh, we'll intercept dials uh, above, at or above 2,500 feet. So when clear the expressway visual approach to runway 31 while on the LaGuardia VOR, cross dials are above 2500, turn right on dials at a heading of 085 degrees and descend to runway 31 via the Long Island Expressway in Flushing Meadow Park. Uh, those of you that are not familiar with the New York area, um, those are the expressways uh, just south of the airport um, that run east and west on the island. Uh, use the LaGuardia Runway 4 localizer for course guidance uh, when the LaGuardia VOR is not available. Um, so it's a pretty straightforward arrival. Uh, it is nighttime. I think we have um, the correct ceilings or the, the appropriate ceilings to shoot this arrival, but it's not totally clear. So we have the localizer programmed uh, for Runway 31 as a backup. Speaking of, our active sky weather at LaGuardia currently. So we are looking at uh, winds 270 at 7, 2 degrees Celsius, 299 or 8. We've got uh, scattered clouds at 15,000. Since the statute of a mile, though, uh, broken at 25, uh, 2 degrees Celsius. So uh, once we get towards these clouds, uh, we're going to throw on some uh, anti ice. But yep. Other than that, that is our approach and arrival into LaGuardia this evening. Once we vacate runway 31, we're going to pop in and park at Alpha 10. Back to the cockpit. Get that uh, seatbelt sign on now. Thank you. 
Concordia, we do have very short runways, so we will uh, go on a break medium for this landing. That looks good. We're getting into the cloud deck now, so uh, we'll go engine anti-ice. Our temperature, as you can see, is uh, plus 7 SAT, so below the 10 degrees Celsius mark. Aircraft is trying to slow down here, so we'll get some spoilers out. Uh, we did go ahead and play around with our camera angles and microphone today, so hopefully uh, that issue that you guys were observing with the uh, very zoomed out effect look uh, has been resolved for you guys. Ten thousand feet. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll shortly be dimming the cabin lights is a normal procedure when flying in the hours of darkness. You'll find the switch for your individual reading light in the panel above your head or in your armrest. Uh, so hopefully you guys are seeing the uh, displays a lot closer than you were before. Uh, as well as the microphone, I know we were getting a lot of uh, echoing and feedback. Uh, so hopefully that has been resolved as well to make these videos a little bit uh, more enjoyable for you folks. Let's 
continue that descent down to 4,000 now. Uh, after we depart dials, we want to be uh, close to halfway configured. So that way when we're turning final, pretty much all that there is left to be done is to land this bird. And uh, we are watching our speed here. We are... Uh, Closely approaching green dot speed. All right, we can go flaps one, speed checks. Make our speed here to ten. Get 3,000 dialed in now. Open descent. Got about uh, 50 miles to the airport. All right, uh, we're getting the ECAM message, uh, icing not detected. Uh, we are at uh, plus one degree Celsius at a true uh, air temperature, no visible moisture as we can see. So we'll go ahead and kill the uh, engine anti-ice. My speed uh, leaving dials, I probably want to be at about uh, 200, 200 knots. Uh, this approach does come up on you quickly, uh, which is why we're trying to get, uh, get our speed managed here, our profile managed, as well as our configurations done as early as possible.
got uh, Manhattan coming into view here at about our 12 o'clock. Flight attendant, please prepare the cabin for arrival and be seated. All right, it's 190 on the speed now. I'm gonna go ahead and take approach phase. That is uh, Tammy. Hey, it's Tammy. The captain's here for landing now. Thank you, Tammy. You're welcome. See you on the ground. We'll see ya. All right. I need to get some flaps out here. Flaps two. Speed checks. Take our speed 180 now, and remember we are departing Dallas at. Uh, 085 degrees on the heading of 085 degrees. And uh, sorry about that, I just realized we lost our Overlay mid flight, so I'm gonna head in. Go ahead and uh, 2500 kill it anyway. Here is a uh, lovely Manhattan, courtesy of Jericho Design, New York City X. That is uh, runway four, LaGuardia, at our 12 o'clock. Uh, put ourselves in uh, heading mode here. One seventy-five on the speed. Uh, we'll take flaps three. Depart dials now. Zero eight five on the heading. And, uh, we gotta realize we have a we're gonna have a slight tailwind here of thirteen knots, which is why I slowed us down a bit early. All right, my aircraft. Gear down. Final approach speed. There's our runway. I 
That's uh, Kennedy off to our right side there. Two thousand. Two thousand check flaps full now. Entering our final turn, quick landing checklist, gear down, three greens, flaps full, auto thrust speed, auto brake medium, spoilers arms, lights as required, and we are clear land, runway 3-1, should have uh, made that turn a little sh earlier, but uh, we should be okay. Straighten ourselves out here now. One thousand. One thousand is checked. Twenty five hundred is our misapproach altitude, and that is set. Straightening up and uh, minor corrections here now. Back on profile. Hundred above. Ignoring the flight directors at the moment, we are all visual. Minimum. Minimums continue and landing. Not perfect, uh, but uh, down nonetheless. We could have made that turn a bit uh, earlier into final, uh, but we have plenty of time to correct, so all good. Taxi to our gate now. Kill the strobe lights. We are off of uh, all of the actives. Our gate was uh, Alpha 10.
got some hot brakes, of course, uh, but I'm not worried about that. This is our last flight of the day, last flight of the evening. Okay, brakes will have plenty of time to cool over the next few hours. Entering the ramp now. Can kill the lights. APU, I heard it cut over. Yes, it is available. Kill two and one. Lock the flight deck door. Beacon off. Signs off. And we can get the fuel pumps. Flight attendant, prepare for arrival. Cross check, verify strap. Standby for all calls. Hours in uh, 38 minutes of block time from Miami. Not a bad flight at all. All right, folks, that is us down at LaGuardia. As usual, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I do have LaGuardia Airport. Uh, try that approach next time LaGuardia is landing. Uh, the 3-1 runway. It's uh, quite an experience. Quite enjoyable. Um, a good challenge until next time folks we'll see you take care and uh, have a good one